Speaker, military and civilian members know that harassment is alive and well in D&D. The avalanche of allegations of sexual misconduct in the military continues, but under this Prime Minister, no one is ever responsible, no one is held accountable. He hides, saying he didn't know, but that was three years ago. He knows now and still refuses to act. Will this Prime Minister hold anyone accountable for perpetrating sexual misconduct at the highest levels in Canada? Canada's military? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the process that was undergone in 2018 was exactly the same process embarked upon by the Leader of the Opposition back in 2015 when he was in government. Uh, he heard a rumour of misconduct. He told his staff, who told PMO and the Privy Council Office. The job of the politicians and their staff is to ensure that any allegation is given to the appropriate authorities. The Leader of the Opposition and the Conservatives continue to decry a process that they themselves took when they appointed General Vance in the first place. The Honourable Member for Aurora Oak Ridge's Richmond Hill. Mr. Speaker, women in the military have lost hope. Some have lost their career. Others have tragically accepted there will be no justice. Service to country is an honourable profession. My father served, I served, and I'd be incredibly proud if my daughter wanted to as well. But under this Prime Minister, if she chose a military career, I would be worried for her safety. If they asked him, would this Prime Minister encourage Canada's sons and daughters, including his own, to serve in Canada's armed forces? Honourable Prime Minister. Yes, Mr. Speaker, it is an extraordinarily honourable calling to serve in the Canadian Armed Forces, to serve one's country uh, in any given way. I am deeply proud that my grandfather was not just a sitting MP, but at the same time served in World War II as a flight lieutenant. Uh, service to country is extraordinary, and that's why we need to make sure that anyone who serves their country gets the proper support uh, when unacceptable actions, when assault, when harassment happens. Uh, we have made improvements, but we know there is much more to do, which is why we appointed both uh, Louise Arbour and Jenny Carignan uh, to uh, lead on making these permanent changes. Well, member for Aurora Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill. Mr. Speaker, more reviews and more training are not enough. The Prime Minister's inaction has emboldened the military old boys club and reinforced an entrenched and toxic culture. He refuses to hold those at the highest levels accountable. Not the Defence Minister, no senior member of the Privy Council, no one on the Prime Minister's staff. Promotions and postings for all general officers must be frozen until all of those who are complicit are held accountable. Accountable. Will this Prime Minister fire those who have failed in their duties to Canadians? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, over the past years, and indeed over the past months, uh, we have demonstrated firmness and resolve in transforming the culture of the military to make sure that anyone who serves uh, feels supported uh, and, uh, and resourced as they come forward uh, to share unacceptable actions. We need to put an end of the culture of tolerance, of uh, misogyny and harassment uh, that exists uh, in our military and in far too many other institutions. That is something this government has taken seriously uh, over the past five years, and we will continue uh, to move to moving forward. 